Representative Ilhan Omar held a press conference responding to the vile attacks made against her by Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she's going to demonstrate how their vile Islamophobia, the things that they say, calling her a jihadist, it has potentially deadly consequences. I'm going to play you a voicemail that we received hours after I got off the phone with Representative Bulbert after she posted her video. We see you, Muslim saying that you're a bitch. We know what you're up to. You're all about to end our country. Don't worry, there's plenty that will love the opportunity to take you off the face of the fucking earth. Come get it, bitch, you fucking Muslim piece of shit, you jihadist. We know what you are. You're a fucking traitor. You will not live much longer, bitch. I can almost guarantee you that we the people are rising up, and you will be tried for a military tribunal, and you will be found guilty. For those of you who did not hear it very well, let me read you what the voicemail says. We see you, sand and word bitch. We know what you are up to. You are all about taking over our country. Don't worry. There is plenty that would love the opportunity to take you off the face of this effing earth. Come get it. But you are effing Muslim piece of shit. You are jihadist. We know what you are. You are effing traitor and you will not live any longer. Condemning this should not be a partisan issue. This is about our basic humanity and fundamental rights of religious freedom enshrined in our Constitution. Marjorie Taylor Greene, now a member of Congress, who came to my office in 2019, harassed my, uh, my staff, demanding that my colleague, Rashida Tlaib, and I retake our oath of office on a Christian Bible. That says a lot about somebody who says she believes in the Constitution because she obviously hasn't read it. It was never an option for me to take off my hijab and run. And that should never be something that a Muslim woman or a girl in this country has to contemplate if she wants to enter public life. I mean... She is getting this harassment from folks who scream the loudest about religious liberty. But we know when they talk about religious liberty, they talk about Christian supremacy. They talk about the liberty to impede on other people's civil rights, deny services to couples who are gay, deny rights to trans Americans. That's what they believe. So they don't actually believe in religious liberty. It's religious liberty for me, but not thee. And you can draw a direct line between the rhetoric that Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Green use, and the death threats that Ilhan Omar is receiving. This isn't the first death threat that she's received. She has received a multitude of death threats. And it happens because people like Marjorie Green and Lauren Boebert say not just that she's a member of the Jihad Squad, but she actually supports Al-Qaeda. That's what Marjorie Green said. It's truly disgusting, and they don't care. They actually don't care. That's the thing that makes this outrageous. You would think that a normal person would respond to hearing that voicemail and say, wow, I can't believe that my words encouraged this. I, I unequivocally denounce that and I'm going to change. I apologize to Ilhan Omar. That's not what they want. If Marjorie Green were to see that her rhetoric incited violence against Ilhan Omar, she would think good because that's the kind of a person that Marjorie Green is. That's the kind of a person that Lauren Boebert is. They are intentionally trying to stoke Islamophobia and catalyze some sort of an attack on Ilhan Omar. It's just morally reprehensible. And the fact that not many people are speaking up 
is just <laughs> I mean th th this shouldn't be a thing this shouldn't be a thing the first hijabi member of congress a muslim woman is getting death threats and harassed specifically because she is a muslim it's not like they disagree with any particular portions of her policy agenda they're not speaking about you know the provision in medicare for all that outlaws duplicative care they're not talking about policy they don't like her because of her identity they don't like her because she's a muslim and they've made that clear and by constantly saying to people that she's dangerous she sympathizes with terrorists and she's a member of the jihad squad they are encouraging people to do violence against ilhan omar so she shouldn't have to share these voicemails, but I'm glad that she did because I don't think people understand that this violent rhetoric leads to dangerous consequences. They just say what they want and, you know, oh, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just joking or, you know, I'm, I'm being tongue in cheek when I call her jihad squad. No, you're endangering her life by encouraging violence against her.